Lalong and his cronies will receive God's wrath for turning their backs against believers. The end will be disastrous. Recall that the Holy Book said according to Acts chapter 1 and verse 18, Judas bought a field with his silver and reward and fell headlong in it. All his bow wells gushed out, implying that he threw himself down to die. This was after he betrayed Jesus. There are always heavy consequences for betrayal. In Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, the Bible, 18, the Bible said, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. The Lord is jealous and avenging God. The Lord is wrathful. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries and keeps wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. And the Lord will by no means clear the guilty. His way is in the well will and in the storm. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and makes it dry. He dried up all the rivers. Bashan and Camel wither. The bloom of Lebanon withers. The mountains quake before him. The hills melt. The earth heaves before him. The world and all who dwell in it. Who can stand before his indignation? Who can endure the heat of his anger? His wrath is poured out like fire, and the rocks are broken into pieces by him. It is on this note, gentlemen, that we want to warn Governor Lalong and other Christian leaders, Northern Christian leaders, to avoid this impending calamity. We are advising them, we are advising them not to test God's wrath. As a body, we have interceded. And God has revealed that he will show them mercy if they turn away from their evil ways. Our God is merciful. His anger lasts only a, his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor persists for a lifetime. The Northern Christian Forum of Nigeria is using this opportunity to urge fellow believers, Christian believers, not to be wary. Persecution and tribulation, troubling times are ahead over our strong disapproval of the APC's devilish ticket. However, we will prevail. The church of God will march on, and the gates of hell can never prevail against it. Thank you very much.